This colony had a starter strip, not this frame, but you can see they're building at an angle. I want to straighten that out after they've gotten a little further along. This one is a little bit of a mess. If we waited a whole lot longer to get in here to straighten it out, it would be a lot of trouble. They've built at an angle going across instead of along the chamfer of the top frame. So let's straighten this out now before it gets any further. What I need to do is put the middle bars in the frame, cut the wax loose, Let's build on an angle. And straighten it out. The wax is really moldable and pliable right now. Easy to do right now. Why they got off track in the first place, we don't know. The bees just do what they're going to do which is what we want them to do, we need to stop telling them. Mm -hmm. I don't think the bees built off on uh, odd angles. I think they were in a straight line and then the, uh, the comb has fallen down, has come disconnected under the weight of the bees and the syrup in it and then it has caused, uh, caused this trouble. This comb has come loose from the frame and flopped over under the weight of the bees and the nectar and the heat maybe. And so now we've got a mess. i got to straighten it out before it gets any further. It'll take a minute, but with care we can do it. I'm going to cut some of this comb loose here. The queen's got to be in here somewhere, so I'll, I'll be careful about how I do it. I'll take this piece out, put it in a frame next to it. Or maybe I won't put it in the frame next to it. Maybe I'll eat it. Looks like they're capping on this side. Are they capping it over already? Yeah, on this side. Move that over. Now we're mostly in a straight line. Push that one so it's going in the right direction. Put it back in. This frame uh, was next to the feeder. The bees have drawn the comb out but they've stuck it more onto the side of the feeder than they have onto the frame. So we can fix that easily enough. I'll set up my middle bars. I'll put, put the splints in and now I'll cut out the Cut out the frame from the feeder. Cut out, I'll cut out the comb off the side of the feeder. 
and put it in the frame where it belongs. Shake the bees off gently. Do this on a day when it's nice and warm. The bees are busy working on something else. They're not going to get too mad about it. Put that in the middle bar frame. Want it straight up and down and return it to the hive. They've got two separate combs going, one from the middle bar down and then one from the top bar on the outside. I think I'll correct this one by cutting this piece off. And now I'll just move this over. Now we're straight up and down. All of this is an attempt to get bees on small cell by letting them build what they want. So if this seems like more trouble than it's worth, I believe it's going to be worth it in the end if we can get bees on natural comb. And we have the benefit of still being able to use our deep box, deep brood chamber, deep frames.